the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at Google accounts and how they relate to YouTube channels. Now, over the years, there have been some changes to how Google accounts and YouTube channels relate to each other, um, starting in May 2009, when it became possible to have a Google account for a YouTube channel. And then in 2011, when it became mandatory, and then we had Google, uh, Google Plus pages and Google Plus profiles from 2012 onwards till about 2016. And now we have only got Google accounts, YouTube channels, and what is called YouTube brand accounts. So these are the three things that we're gonna be looking at today. And I've got my icons here, and I'm actually, I've got you a key here as well so that you can see what I'm talking about. So let's start with the Google account itself. What exactly is it? Well, the Google account is the master account that controls everything at Google and YouTube is just a, another Google product. Therefore, you have to have a Google account in order to have a YouTube channel. It is never the business or academic or non-personal entity. It is an individual's account and that's why it's represented by an image, a default image of a person. And that, think about it, it is your first and last name that you enter and it is your date of birth that you enter and it is you personally who clicks I agree, not we agree. So a Google account is always representative of a person. And that is really important to understand when it comes to ownership. The, the reason it is important is because the one YouTube channel that's the personal YouTube channel uh, represented here by a, a plain YouTube player is owned by the Google account and it is close linked with the Google account. It represents the person. So it will have that person's first and last name. Now, if that person wants to have an additional YouTube channel, it is possible to do that, but only by using a sort of a sub account, which is the brand account part of the YouTube brand account. So the brand account part is this sort of business roof, if you like, it's a sort of marquee, and then underneath it is the YouTube player for the YouTube channel. So a YouTube channel close linked with a brand account becomes a YouTube brand account. And we can have as many as we like, basically. Now, if you're familiar with Facebook, you might, you might um, sort of recognize the setup your Google account is your Facebook account or Facebook profile and your YouTube channel, which is close linked to your Google account is your YouTube profile, what you share with, with your friends and families. And the YouTube brand account is more like a Facebook page or a Facebook group or community that you admin. Now, the, the thing with um, YouTube brand accounts is that they don't have to be owned only by your Google account, they can be owned or co-owned by additional Google accounts such as this one here. So this other party here has their own personal YouTube channel, but also manages in this case, this particular YouTube brand account of yours. You own it, that's the, the black link is in owner link, and this person here is actually only managing it. Now, it's really important to understand that this person here doesn't own this Google account and vice versa. These two Google accounts are not associated with each other in any way other than that they share some sort of access over what is a YouTube brand account. So this is how Google accounts and YouTube channels and YouTube brand accounts interlink with each other in 2019. Thank you for listening and goodbye.